Kalava kirana tato kato toa talohani fakalola yatu malo elelei talofa ni sampula vinaka noya e Māori. Kia ora and warm Pacific greetings. I'm delighted to join with my colleague, the Honourable Kamau Sipoloni, the Minister of Social Development, and to jointly launch the Pacific Prosperity through Social Enterprise Evaluation Report and the Rubric Framework for Policy, Planning and Practice. You might ask, what's so special about the Social Enterprise Evaluation Report and Framework? This report contains a body of evidence that shows when government agencies collaborate, invest in and support Pacific initiatives, Pacific people can achieve accelerated transformational change that benefits not only themselves and their families, but also the rest of Aotearoa New Zealand as well. In other words, the report reveals the learnings from the Pacific Social Enterprise Pilot which the Ministry for Social Development and the Ministry for Pacific People explored jointly on how to recognise and invest in Pacific social enterprise models. The pilot was funded from the MSD's industry partnerships. Three Pacific social enterprise groups were part of this pilot. The first was the Cook Islands Development Agency New Zealand, or CDANCE, which worked directly with 87 families to implement a number of projects which saw improvements in business and entrepreneurship literacy. Bahia Whanua Tonga Methodist Trust, or Siola, used its financial service model to support 68 families who purchased their first home. Meanwhile, Faith City's The Business Factory worked with two schools in Auckland to improve business, entrepreneurship and financial literacy skills among young people. These are real-life examples of Pacific initiatives that empowers and transforms lives. This is a real cause for celebration for all of us. This pilot shows that investing in Pacific social enterprise helps us to gain a deep understanding of the key success factors, the barriers to success, and provides us with information that will inform and guide policymakers, government and non-government agencies on future policy development. It can inform and support future program design, strategic and investment decisions on Pacific social enterprise and economic development. But most importantly, the launch of the Social Enterprise Evaluation Report and Framework puts the strength and achievements of the three Pacific social enterprises in the pilot front and centre of this powerful success story. It is an exciting prospect for us to launch a report that highlights Pacific innovation, strengths, resilience and a powerful narrative about Pacific people's determination to succeed and transform individuals, families and communities. Kia kaha everybody, stay strong, fa malosi, soifua mayamanwia.